All right, in this video, we're gonna be talking about the insert why every X song plays PAL script. Simply put, what this PAL script does, you can use it multiple times just by renaming the PAL script, copying it to a new location and renaming it. What this PAL script does, the why is what it, what it is that you're going to play. And the every X is the number of songs that must play before the Y will play. Okay. All right. So we're going to add this to our power script. We're going to click on the plus sign um, for this power script because it continuously runs. You can select automatically start the script. And we're going to go over to our power script folder. And as you can see, it's uh, when you download it, it's called insert Y every X plays. Well, the first question you need to ask yourself, well, what is my Y? Okay. Um, if it's a promo, is it an ad? Is it a jingle? Is it a station ID? Okay. For this example, we're going to use a station ID. So I'm going to rename this just by um, right clicking and selecting rename or however you do it on your system. And I'm going to rename it play add every six songs. Okay. That's what I'm gonna call it. And the reason why I'm renaming it is so that when it loads in, that's what the power script is going to say. See right there, it says play add every six songs. That lets me know what it is. This particular power script is supposed to do. All right. So I'm going to double click on this. Now at the very top, you have something called weight count. And I said, this is going to be play an ad every six song. This weight count is the number of songs that it must wait before it plays the ad. So I'm going to change this four or whatever number it is when you get it, I'm going to change that to a six. Okay. Then we said, we're going to play an ad at the very bottom. You got cat. And then in quotes, you have create a category to pull from. Well, if I look over here, my advertising category is spelled ADS. So I'm going to change this to match my advertising category ADS. Then I'm going to click compile file save, and then I can run it. And so what's going to happen is every six songs after every six songs, it's going to go over to the ads category and play an ad. Okay. It's just as easy and simple as that. Now, what if I wanted to play a jingle? All right. While I have this open, while I have this open, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file. I'm going to go to save as, and when I go to save as I'm going to rename it play. We said a jingle play a jingle. Uh, this time I'm going to play a jingle every four songs. So that's what I'm going to save it as play jingle every four songs, pow dot pow. I'm going to save that. Let me close this out. Now I'm going to go ahead to my plus sign on my power script window, click automatically start the script. And I'm going to go over here and play. Look for that play. Um, right here, play jingle every four songs. All right. That's what we saved it as. And so now we have, the same power script, but it's actually a, a different power script that says play a jingle every four songs. So I'll go ahead to my categories. I don't have a category for jingle. So let's play, let's create one. You, some people like to use jingles all, but really that all section is see how in this uh, station ID category, I got all these different categories you know, under station ID. Well, even though they're broken up into these different categories, if we go to station ID all, they will all be in station IDs all. So that's what really what the all is for. I like to create a specific category for things that I'm going to pull from. So I'm going to create a, a category. I'm going to call it uh, station jingles. I don't know. Yeah, we'll just call it station jingle. Cause later on, you might have another category for jingles for maybe a, a DJ show or something. I don't know. That's why I like to create a category for the specific thing. So now I can come back over here to play jingle every four songs. 
um, this is six. This is the number of times. So I'm going to change this to four. That, that represents four songs. And then down here where it says cat, I need to match this right here. The easiest way to, to match that and not mess up is to copy it. Just copy that and paste it between the quotes. Make sure there are no spaces before the word station and after the word jingle. Okay. And then I can compile that file, save. Now I have a power script that will play a jingle every four songs. I got another power script that will play an ad every six songs. What if I wanted to play um, a station promo? Okay. And I, as you can see, I don't have any anything under my promo. So I'm going to create station promo category. Promos with an S. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to double click on this guy and open it up and I'm going to go up here to file. I'm going to say save as, and I want to play a, a, a station promo and I'll just say, uh, yeah, I call it station promo. I want to play a station promo every nine songs. I know that's a long time, but you, you, you get my understanding. Okay. So close this out. Now let's go and get that power script that we just saved automatically save the script, play station promo every nine songs. So we're going to select that one. Okay. So now we're going to double click to open it up. We said every nine songs. So we're going to change this four to nine, we'll go all the way to the bottom to where it says cat and we want station promos. Okay. So come over here and click that copy it and that's all you have to do now of course you got to fill the fill those categories up with what's supposed to be in there okay so now this is ready to play a station promo every nine songs well what if you want to play a station id okay uh, we'll use the top of the hour we'll use that one so i'm going to double click this and this time i'm going to save as and rename it to, and I'm going to do this every three songs. Um, station ID. Okay. Play station ID every three songs. Save that. Okay. Exit out of here. Click on my plus sign. Check automatically start. And go and grab play station ID every three songs. So I just took this one power script and I, cr I created four new power scripts with it, all doing different things. So I'm gonna double click on it. And we said we wanna, we wanna do every three songs. So I'm gonna change this nine up here at the top to a three. And I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom. And this top of the hour, I'm gonna grab that. Cause that's the station ID. Okay, top of the hour. Compile it and save it. Now, because that's the top of the hour, uh, category, but I'm also going to use it in this, um, play Y every X songs. I'm going to, you're going to need to have several, um, you need to have several different station IDs in there. If you only have one, you're going to run into a problem. And that problem is see right here where we have enforced rules. If any of these are not pulling, they're not playing. Chances are you don't have enough in them in those categories to satisfy the rules. If that is the case, then you need to change enforce rules to no rules. And then that way it will not try to play them based on the rules. Now you may hear the same one back to back. Okay. Because you have no rules. If you're going to use enforce rules, you need to have, I'm going to say a minimum of three of whatever it is you're pulling from a minimum of three, depending on your rules. Okay. And so that's all you have to do to the insert Y every X songs power script. That's all you have to do. All right. Hope this has helped.